Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another 100 things declutter. I am still going strong. I can't believe that my pace hasn't even really slowed. I do take long breaks in between pulling things together. I find things here and there. Sometimes I go on a spree and I find lots of things. Like I said, still going strong. I cannot believe I have so much stuff when I consider myself someone who doesn't hold on to clutter. But here we are. I'm thinking about doing a whole separate video on what I've learned through this process and tips and tricks and things like that. So let me know if that's something that you would be interested in or if you have any particular questions about decluttering and then I can add it to that video. So without any more chit chat, here are the 100 things that I have decluttered out of my home recently. Found one of these plastic hangers in amongst our clothes and I don't like these. I like all our hangers to match so I'm going to chuck this. Some undies that have holes in. Why am I still using this dish towel that has huge holes in? This should have been chucked out a long time ago. I bought myself a new lens, but I don't need to keep the box. This is a king size duvet cover that I got from the op shop because I needed some of the fabric, but this bit is kind of discolored and I don't think I'm going to use it. A random placemat. I think I had plans to turn this into a cushion but I just never did and I don't think I ever will. A cushion cover I made years ago when we lived in England and I had green in my living room. I don't have any cushions this size and I don't decorate with green at the moment. A couple of pillowcases. These actually go with that king size duvet cover that I cut up and used some of the fabric. The pillowcases I'm not gonna use because they're kind of yellowish in places. A skirt that I thrifted and never wear. A shirt that I thrifted and I never wear it anymore and it's got a stain on. This is a really nice shirt but I just hardly ever wear it. A cardigan that I don't wear. A little crocheted vest that I don't wear. Another cardigan that I don't wear. I decluttered the olive green version of this in my last 100 things video. It's just a little bit too long and I thought I was going to go to the trouble of like taking off the hem but I got real with myself and realized I'm never going to. A red t-shirt that I have actually never worn and I've had it for a good long while. I do like these t-shirts from the warehouse and I have them in many colors and I think I was just buying every color that they had, but I just never reached for the red one. Another top that I just don't wear. This one kind of looks really frumpy on me. I've been going through some fabric bins and these scraps are just too small to really be useful. An old cushion and some stuffing that I thought I was going to use for something, but I just never am. A piece of fabric that I just know I'm never going to use. Another piece of fabric that I'm just not likely to use. I don't know where this random teaspoon came from, but can you see the edge there? It's really sharp and not very pleasant to eat from. These probiotics have expired. This little chopping board was in the guest house, but it's actually starting to smell and I have found out that these kind of chopping boards are impossible to fully sterilize even in the dishwasher because they're so porous so I'm just gonna chuck this and probably not repurchase. A pair of pants that Noah has outgrown. I haven't worn this skirt in years I think I've only ever worn it twice and I'm kind of over it. The same goes for this dress. A cooler ice brick. Our Airbnb guests tend to leave these behind a lot. A turquoise belt that I never wear. It's just the wrong shade to go with my turquoise shoes. A cushion cover that I got from AliExpress that has a broken zip. This battery operated foot file is kind of rubbish. It doesn't really work. This old shower cap because the elastic is all stretched out and it is broken. I found this ancient clicker. This is from Weight Watchers which I did about 12 years ago and you could kind of just track your points on the fly as you went about your day. Clearly I don't need this anymore since it's so old and the battery's flat. Every time I wear this t-shirt it's like there's something around here that prickles in the back of my neck and I've gone over this shirt over and over with a fine tooth comb. There is nothing there but it still prickles me when I wear it so I'm done. This is a twist up brow pencil but it's completely dried out like it doesn't mark at all. Outgrown shorts. An old pair of shorts or grass that as you can see has been worn to death. They became these DIY shorts but they actually like split at the back so they can go. 
just going through the pantry and found these hazelnuts which are so old and so stale I'm gonna toss these some dried apricots that have been there forever some gravy powder that expired last year March so almost a year ago none of us uses this styling wax anymore I use a spray wax and this has just been sitting in the bathroom cupboard so I'm gonna clear it out this hair gel is awful it's kind of watery and it doesn't really do anything and none of us uses it Grant couldn't get our old doorbell to work so we are going to toss it these tongs have had it the pin has half broken there and they're kind of difficult to use they don't do what they're supposed to do properly this pillowcase is kind of gross I just bought cheap duvet covers for us to go camping and Noah's been using this pillowcase but look how horrible it is and I think it's time to let it go a sock with a hole in it this little cooler because I dropped it and it smashed and now the lid is broken I'm so sad to have to toss this wallet the zip broke and then I managed to fix it and I bought some more time and now it broke again and in trying to fix it I broke it worse so I just need to toss it but I really really liked it a scentsy scent pack that long ago lost its scent this random little box that's kind of dirty as well a cloth glasses case that came with Daniel's glasses we aren't going to use this also a little glasses repair kit we have ordered glasses from Fermi a few times and so we have a couple of these lying around already this spray bottle because Daniel dropped it and now the spray mechanism doesn't work anymore this armband cell phone holder because I have a new phone and it's too big to fit in it our push vacuum stopped working and it's an issue with the battery and my dad and Grant opened it up and had a look and we could probably replace the battery but they're not cheap and we're just going to have the same problem in a year or so so we're actually going to just draw a line under this one and toss it and when I say battery it's a bit of a complicated situation there's like multiple batteries in multiple pods like soldered in yeah we're just going to let this one go this eye cream has been sitting in the cupboard for ages. I was using it and then discovered that it actually has wheat in it and I can't ingest gluten and your skin absorbs what you put on it. So I stopped using it and I told Grant and the boys they could use it but nobody has. So it's time to just toss it. Some ratty old undies that are falling apart. Noah's work gloves that are outgrown but they're also kind of getting a bit old and holy. These ice cream cones that nobody in my family will eat. My dad enjoyed them while he was here, but he's not here anymore. And these are just sitting in the pantry. The soap dispenser from the guest house. You have to pump it multiple times to get enough soap. And I always have to try and get white soap. Otherwise, it looks a bit gross in there. And these soap dispensers just tend to go yucky over time. So I've switched to the Glow Lab soap, which has nice packaging, which goes with the decor. And I won't be using this anymore this little organza bag this pair of sandals because I never reach for them because they're just slightly too small and then as I'm walking this back end is quite sharp and it's uncomfortable some old serviettes that all have stains on them this handbag because I just don't use it very often and I'd rather have the cupboard space same with this one this workout top I've got other tops and this one has a few pulls on it and looks a bit scruffy this blouse I just never wear it. I think the sleeves just look wrong on me. It's not a very flattering sleeve length. This little cardigan because I just don't wear it. This t-shirt, it's getting a little bit old and I never reach for it. I've had this t-shirt about probably 10 years and I don't wear it. It's a bit too small anyway. I never wear this one either. Also a little bit too small. Super old cardigan, I just never wear. I like this top, but I don't wear it feel a bit guilty about these shorts they still have the tag on and I just haven't worn them the whole of the summer so I don't think I'm going to wear them this is a little background I painted for food photography but I haven't used it since I did it and I don't think I will because it's difficult to use fabric without having wrinkles and creases showing so I'm going to toss this this elastic because I was going through the elastic in my stash for a project and realized this one isn't even stretchy I don't use this hanging organizer anymore I have a new garlic crusher press thingy 
and I know that my friend Cami has been desperately wanting a Pampered Chef one so I'm going to pass my Pampered Chef one on to her. It is a bit kind of worn but it still works exactly the same and even if she gets a new one this will tide her over until she does. This pair of rose gold earrings is kind of tarnished and really old looking so it's time to let this go. I bought a set of rose gold like choker style necklaces and two of the necklaces had these on and I just thought these kind of look a bit cheap and I just wanted the necklace without the pendants so I took the pendants off and I'm just going to toss them. A skirt that I never wear. I do like a bit of tweed but like I said I just don't wear this. Another skirt that I just don't wear and another one. A couple of pairs of magnetic shoelaces. This eyeliner was pretty good when it was new but it is old now and it's dried out and it doesn't actually go on without a lot of pressure which I don't want to be doing on my eyes. This pyjama top is pretty old and threadbare and has a huge hole in the elbow so it's time to let this go. I'm clearing out this old bottle because it's kind of useful but it's a huge pain to clean so I just never use it. This ancient jug. A reusable plastic straw because I use metal straws. Random organza bag. Two popsicle mold lids. I don't even know where the mold is. I made this tube to store plastic grocery bags in but they are no longer available in New Zealand so this is redundant. A little pair of jugs that I don't use. I never use this little plastic dish so this can go. This is a cute little dish that used to have two little round salt and pepper shakers like two little peas in a pod i do have another like fully intact set but one of the peas broke off this one and i used to use this for my afternoon snack i would put almonds in there and a piece of dark chocolate but i haven't used this in years and i don't need a special dish just for that so i'm going to let this go a couple of napkins this one has a bleach mark on it and this one I guess was folded by the window like sitting in front of the window and it has a sun bleached square in it. This is a lid for a utensil jar that I no longer have. Some old candles that have gone a bit gross and stained. I found these coffee beans in the cupboard. Daniel used them for some kind of a project and there's some left over but not only do we not drink coffee but we don't have a grinder or anything so I'm going to toss these found this toe separator in the bathroom. My toes are pretty well behaved and I don't need this for when I do pedicures. I hope you enjoyed this and found it inspirational, motivational, I don't know, <laughs> just interesting maybe to see all of the stuff that I've been clearing out. I always find it so interesting to be editing these videos and seeing all of the things that I've got rid of and realizing that I haven't given them a second thought once I've made the decision. The decision making is honestly the hardest part. Get stuck in, get rid of some things and you will feel so much better for it. If you want to see the rest of the videos in the series I will link them here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.